What's up YouTube? Today in this video, I'm going to be playing Anime Lost Simulator. No further ado, let's get straight into the video. Off this game will be a clicker simulator. You have to join the group for a free auto clicker. Make sure you do that before you join. Here's the quest and the current quest I haven't did yet. Here are the champions right here. I like how the champions of this area actually make sense. How there is a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Instead of there be SSJB Goku or Jaren in the banner. Same as the special banner. I like how there is a variety to the characters in it. And not just the normal banner with double rates on it. Like how most games do it. You can also use skills, so I'm happy they allow you to do that, because most games won't even allow you to have that. Yeah. Alright, so I joined the game and got the free auto clicker. Yeah, and this helps a lot. It's just fast as normal auto clicker. And look at this guy, he got Gogeta over here. And he got Minato and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Dang look how fast he just killed that. I right, here are the codes. I hate bugs. 1.5k likes. And release. Most, I'm gonna put these codes in the comments. Mini update one. I think this guy is dimension, so I'll talk about that. Um, okay, so they have buy skills where you can just spend five gems to get skills. Alright. That's actually pretty cool that they actually have that. Because normally games wouldn't allow you to do this. And I'll go it again, and I got the legendary one. I got Kaioken, bruh. Nah. I gotta see how this looks like. I wanna see the form, bro. Oh, they got a whole transformation. Yeah, it, yeah, it gives you a 15% boost. You got the Zen Sword. I'm about to equip that. Oh, here's the Zen Sword over here. It has like a cool aura on it right here. And I attack way faster now. I'm killing this weak radio. Supposed to be Radis. Alright. Now I'm attacked in perfect set. I got just took my kill. Alright, the next we river is 20k. And yeah, I'm basically just gonna complete all the quests from here and just try to save for save for a companion basically. So I'm basically gonna handle this quest. Starting out by one by one. Here we go. Got him. And him. And him. Boom. And this should be the last one. Yeah, you completed the quest. Hey, not trying to activate the other one. So I need to kill strong NPCs and weak ones. But first, some for our champion. We got Robu. Robu, Robo, Roboto. All right. Also, when you redeem the codes, you get these luck potions. I recommend don't use them yet until you get to the next area. Unless you wanna summon for this area to get great get champions, I guess. Like rare champions. I don't know what you guys wanna do with it. So I'm basically just finishing the quest over here. Here with this on perfect cell. I just finished the quest. We summoned and all we got was just some piccolos. Ain't nothing crazy. Alright, now it's time to take on this perfect cell. Or perfect bug. Yeah, I'm probably gonna skip to it when we kill him. And how much should we get from this? I boom, he's dead. Hey, I completed the quest. Hey. We got 9.2k. Hey, look at this guy. He got Vegeta, Minato, Goku. Hey, this guy got a stacked team right here. I wanna, hey, I wanna get just like him by the end of this video. Um, sadly we didn't get anything. But hey, uh, we got two trunks, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, we also completed the quest. We need 50k stars to get to the next area. All right. So AFK farm Majibu for a little bit. One thing I don't like about this game is that every time you unlock an area, you have to kill a boss to get to that area. Honestly, that feature sucks, bro. They need to take that crap away. And um, also I summoned and um, 
Hey, I got I got me two Gokus. Bro, I'm actually happy about that. Like two Goku. Alright, I'm about to prestige. The prestige animation look fire, bro. The, the devs did a thing. If they made this, they did a thing. Yeah, they did and they also give you a little boost right there so you can catch back where you was. That's fire. So what I did is just find Majin Boo for a little bit. Two very boring minutes later. Finally killed him. Gonna need 400 k stats to kill him. So yeah, I AFK for a little bit longer, like an hour or two. And hey, we finally we finally defeated him. You gonna need 400k stats just to even beat him, so I recommend y'all prepare heavily for that. And this is just the next area is a Naruto map. I think this is the last one. I'm just a little bit, and hopefully we get something, anything, like pain or anything. Alright, so this, the one thing I noticed is that the area, the companions from this map is not different from the last one, so don't even waste your time summoning on them. And hey, my first summon, I got I got the legendary. Yeah, you know, just how the attack looks. It's like a water dragon. I don't know too much about now, so I don't watch it. But I know the characters though. And the boss is Toby. And of course I'm a rebirth again. Cause I have to. Make sure I guys rebirth for y'all get any crazy stats. Cause trust me, the rebirth is gonna pay off. Later. Okay, it's been two hours. Now we're about to summon again, and hopefully we get the legendary. Hey, we get the mythical on our first try, and we still got. Like, look at that, bro. It's Minato. Oh yeah, I, I do have to sell these swords so I can get the next weapons. The next weapons for this area is actually worth it, though. So I'm just gonna AFK farm him. But like Kage is fine. I'll see if I can kill her. Night Ninja Goddess, I can't fight her. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, so I AFK farm for like a good seven hours because I went to bed and woke up. Um, yeah, this is the next day. I got a hundred mil. I completed the quest. I've got to show me completing the quest, and also got the sword right here, the most OP sword from this area. I basically just AFK farm with Yamaru right here and just use this attack. Look how much damage we do. We, we do 30 something damage. Like, we do a lot. And then here is, you know, four times like speed killing Toby Mama. Like, I'm really strong. Like, I, this is the first game I ever beat in, like, the matter of seconds. I, honestly, you can't beat any simulator game, so. Can't tell you to beat it in seconds. It's absolutely cap. And there we go. We just killed him like that. We we just killed him. I'm trying to find out, like, I want to kill Kaguya before I end this video. That's one thing I want to do. Like, that's one thing I really, really want to do. Alright, so it turned nighttime, and um, a whole bunch of bosses spawned. So it spawned a whole bunch of moderate six paths. Um, so I guess they only spawn at like a certain time of night. They they honestly don't drop anything. Honestly, it's no point of fighting them because they, they disappear right after. And I guess it's farm um, Minato. Not Minato. What? What's his name? Yeah, there's a whole bunch around the map. Yeah, I recommend don't farm them. Just farm to Toby, Obito. Yeah, I'm gonna try to fight G again. If that is his name, bro. I don't watch Naruto. Um, I will be. I know I can't kill him because I'm gonna need like 12 million power just to even kill him. So I'll be happy at what like 1.5 bill. I'll be happy at 1.5 bill. Of course, we didn't kill him. Cause we ran out of time. Honestly, if it was more time or this stupid thing where you have to kill the bosses consistently, this this game will be an eight out of ten. But I'm giving it like a six out of ten. Is because you have to kill the bosses every area you activate. Not only are you paying money to get to get to the area, but you gotta also kill the boss to get there. So you're gonna have to have the best everything, best stats, just to get to the next area. I don't like that. Honestly, they should remove that feature. It's really annoying. Like, th this is a great game. The animations all look great. It's just that one feature. Like, just remove that, bro. 
like the boss like no one wants to like pay like millions of dollars just to unlock an area and then get clapped up by a bar you guys like and subscribe for more content thanks for watching